smells like money. And hey there folks and welcome back. You've wandered now back into the darkest depths of YouTube. And I appreciate you being here. Now this past weekend I went to a fantastic and magical community sale. Unfortunately it was raining and I thought it was going to stop. However it just got more rain, more wet. There must have been 100, 150 sales. This is an entire small town in upstate New York. If it wasn't for the rain I would have hit up every sale. But even only hitting up about 15 to 20 sales I managed to turn my $144 into roughly, it's gonna be, I should have looked it up, but I'm guessing it's gonna be around 100. <laughs> Stick around if you wanna turn your $144 into $100. I'm here to show you how. What I meant to say is I invested $144 and I think it's gonna be around $1,000 in gross sales. See, I'll do the math at the end of this video. I always like to break it down into how much I invested and how much that actually turns into, into my pocket and break it down for some tax purposes and see what I made for an hourly rate. And if you happen to like this video, I have an entire channel worth of worthless videos just like this one. So. Check them out. And my voice is going to be off a little bit because I had to yell a lot in my other job. And out of context, that sounds weird. I wasn't angry. You just have to take my word for it. I just had to yell a lot, so I lost my voice. But we're off to this community sale. It's only about 10 minutes away from my, my current living situation, so that's pretty amazing. Right away, I find these vintage Sony Walkman cassette players. If you see these out in the wild, you got to pick them up. All the different models tend to do really well, even if they're broken. 70, 70 bucks ish is what you can get. Even if they're broken, you can still get 20 to 25 for just the parts alone. So pick these up. They were only asking uh, 15 bucks for the pair. So I bought those. I found this jacket. It's a little peculiar looking, fully wool. Had a couple small spots, which I think I can get out pretty easy. Prices were really good. 85 bucks up to 175 bucks. And uh, I'm going to talk more on this later, but they were only asking $5 for this sucker. So you better believe that I picked this up. And then we're going to go find this vintage KitchenAid food and grinder. Uh, I'm going to talk about this a little bit more later, but anytime you see KitchenAid out in the wilds, do yourself a favor, pick it up, Kitchen egg, uh, aid or eggs, and hey, look, that's a, that's a voyeur taking a video of me, and I'm looking at this Timbuktu bag, really cool, I used to find these a lot more, it's been a while, these vintage Timbuktu design bags, it's like a, a mailer or a, a, you know over the shoulder bag, and I think I can get 30 bucks for this, it's a couple small stains, but no, no damage, and it, possibly these could be cleaned out pretty easy, and there's that voyeur again, uh, it's me and my brother looking at these things. Now, I've seen thousands of hours of reseller videos, and I personally have never seen these uh, in, in somebody else's video. And I know someone out there is going to comment and tell me that I'm a dumb dumb, and that would be true. But I've never seen these out in the wild. So these were my first time. I was kind of excited. I've never seen these things, and I did pick up a, a few uh, key ones, and I'll talk about that later in the video. I found some tents, and I... I showing this Tom and Jerry DVD, not because it's a huge sale, but just because I found a lot of great uh, sales. I had 50 cents, that was proof that I actually paid for some of this stuff. I didn't just steal it. And this was the haul for the day. I'm going to talk about a lot of that right now. These are the DVDs. I found a lot of really good scores on DVDs. Half, half I would say, were brand new. And then uh, a few used ones, which actually have some good value. Like this was a fantastic score even collectible condition on amazon 165 bucks and we're looking at about 70 bucks on ebay i'm not sure where i'm gonna sell it just yet but i'll, I'll figure that out this other planet of the apes was brand new selling for almost 40 bucks this old uh cobra really cool really cool artwork but that sells for almost 20 bucks this base goes 20 bucks these other Hanna-Barberas, you know, they're selling for just about 20 bucks on Amazon. And there's a lot of mass-produced ones. These things I haven't heard of, all of these before, but a lot of this Man in the Iron Mask, Ben-Hur, Strangers on a Train, these are uh, Rat Pack. A lot of this stuff is obviously... Uh, um, really mass produced and doesn't have great value however I picked up all these DVDs for 50 cents a dollar in some cases I found this vintage Cutco knife anytime you see Cutco obviously uh, if you're a reseller you know this brand if you're not keep an eye out this one was different it didn't have a model number on it uh, I couldn't find one so I emailed pictures of the knife to Cutco. You can see it's actually a little bent. Um, so I'm going to check out with Cutco. So they have a good guarantee. Maybe they can they can fix it, but they have to help me identify it first. This KitchenAid uh, mixer, uh, 
awesome. And then this kitchen aid uh, bowl and accessories, the stand mixer with the bowl alone is 30 bucks. The other things are about 30 bucks. I think I can get like 50 bucks for all of it. And there's that food grinder again. And let's talk about it for a second. I think I can get about 80 to $95 on this. And if you look up other ones, uh, you'll, you'll see a discrepancy in the prices, but this one is a metal one. And you'll see out there, there are plastic ones that go for a lot less, maybe 30 to 35 dollars. So still worth it if you can get it cheap. I got all this KitchenAid stuff for $25. If you can believe it, I can't, but now I can. And I found this record, uh, this 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 Tina Live uh, for five bucks. I got this from the same place where I got all these cool video discs. And I ended up picking a horror lot. Um, I don't know how to say that word, so uh, I won't try, but... Um, they're, they're video discs anyway and I figured for, there's a lot of horror fans I'm a horror fan myself so I picked up all the horror um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna lot them up I think I can get maybe 45 to 50 dollars and some really cool titles and these things are just so rad I loved them I wish uh, one of my favorite movies in there but uh, I'm gonna sell these this was a funny story two dollars each for these coffee filters and there's 12 in here, which indicate that would be $24 for the whole box. So I just asked for a deal. What would you do if I bought all of them? And the woman looked at me and said, she'll do $25, which is actually more than if I just bought them $2 each. And she gave them to me for 20 bucks. I can sell them for about 50. Found this cool ticket to ride. I can sell this on eBay for a good 40 to $45. I'll double my money. I did pay 10 bucks, but definitely worth it. And here's these, uh, these vintage uh, Walkmans, uh, these Sonys again. And, and one of these ended up being broken, unfortunately. So I, I can sell it for parts, but it's still going to be 25 bucks. And the other, I think I get about 75. Dooney and Burke picked this up. There's only three bucks. I can only sell it for like 15 to 20, but Hey, I paid three bucks it's gonna buy me a lot of iced coffee i found these uh, applause these vintage applause these pvc figurines and just this little marvin the martian sells for about 10 bucks himself and then also um, this guy i can't think of his name elmer and he sells for a good eight eight to ten bucks himself so i think i can get like thirty dollars for the lot i only paid a dollar for the whole handful and then this snoopy bank not something i would normally sell but it was thrown as free basically so uh, I think I can get like 15 to $20 for that and not making a bunch because it's very heavy, but hey, it's free money. And then this um, Five Night at Freddy's is very popular. Uh, I picked that up for 50 cents. And then I picked this up. This is for myself. I'm a huge Lotar nerd and anything, anything vintage. So let's get on to the clothes that I found out in the wilds here. And one thing that I love that we all have in common when it comes to clothes is that we're all naked underneath them. First up, I found this. I couldn't find much on eBay. Auntie M's Fantasies sweater. I thought it was just really cool because of the amount of detail, the stitching and these little 3D berries. And this is the story of Cinderella. Very much a Christmas sweater. And I'm picking up Christmas sweaters at thrift stores now. Uh, really off season and you can get really good deals. I paid five bucks for this found one available on Poshmark I think it's like 35 bucks but uh, this this company says 1989 that this was actually made I think I can get maybe 40 to 50 bucks closer to Christmas time normally I avoid Star Wars shirts these are just mass produced but the reason I picked this up not only because it was two bucks is because it's really cool it's like I don't know if it's Chinese or Korean Japanese I'm not sure of the actual language but the entire there's no English on the shirt pretty unique and this is a great size extra large you know fun fact if you're a reseller you probably already know this the larger sizes of clothes tend to do overall just better online but I'm thinking I might be able to get 25 30 dollars when it's off season for these warm clothing or vice versa in the winter you can get some good deals on summer clothing stock them away for a few months get a premium if you're selling stuff in the season North Face obviously would sell year-round if you have some space and you can put it up for a couple months and wait till the appropriate season you can get a premium on that price I think this is the best score or the second best score of the day I got this for five bucks so at the very first sale of the day I found this it's a brand that I'm not familiar with but I could tell by this old vintage tag it was worth looking up Hudson's Bay oh it smells like money and when I checked the comps on eBay I was really shocked some of these things sell for $300 this one I did find sells uh, recently for 85 bucks best offer plus shipping then if i look back closer to in march when it was a little colder out these things this particular jacket looks to sell 150 175 dollar range so again this is something that i'm going to hold on to until october november maybe i can get that 175 dollars okay so let's get into the numbers i invested today about 144 george washington dollar bills gross sales 1229 
George Washington dollar bills and that's uh, fees shipping those costs are gonna run me about four hundred sixteen dollars uh, on this fine Saturday afternoon supplies five bucks that might be a little bit generous but I think it's a fair number net profits it's gonna leave us about six hundred sixty four dollars now I do put taxes of 15% of the net profit aside I'm not a tax pro by any means it's just what I've been doing for a couple years it happens to work out for me for paying taxes the following year so that 15% of that $664 I put aside in a separate account it's gonna be about $100 uh, let's talk travel it took roughly say four hours for the trip today four and four and a half hours listing this stuff is gonna be about an hour and a half uh, to pack this stuff, we'll call it about an hour. Ship this stuff out is about a half hour. That leaves us with an hourly rate of $88.50 or $74. If you remove that uh, that tax that I set aside, that's going to leave us at about a $74 an hour post-tax rate. So if you made it this far, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you learned something because I sure did. Hope to see you guys out in the wild. Mm -hmm.